Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sherry Tenpenny and I want to do a quick update about a document that got passed by the United Nations this weekend called the Pact of the Future document. It's two parts, one on science and technology and one about the youth and future generations. It is quite egregious and it was done by a procedure called the silence procedure, which makes it a pact and if no one objected, it is automatically adopted and put into the record as being completely adopted. This is the World Health Organization's runaround since our, our end around. Since they were not able to get the World Health Organization treaty passed, um, they decided to take it to the General Assembly. And it is even more egregious than what the World Health Organization was wanting to get passed. Let me just read you something really quickly about what is inside of this pact that is now being accepted by 193 nations around the world and equally open-armed accepted by our current administration. Everyone, it says that this is the power structure fully digital and maximized for the control of the masses. Everyone will be expected to have a biometric digital ID that marks them not just as citizens of an individual country, but as a global citizen. So anytime you hear global citizen or anytime you hear sustainability, think that this is an egregious thing that's happening at the level of the World Health Organization and the United Nations. Um, anyone that has a dissonant opinion will be labeled as misinformation, disinformation, or malinformation, and memory hold. Perpetrators for unimproved information will be fact-checked and punished by the system, which will be operated and enforced by artificial intelligence. Punishments will include being locked out of one's bank account, being unable to make certain purchases, unable to get on an airplane, on a subway, drive on public roads. This is the future according to, to the world's self-appointed overlords at the United Nations. These are unelected bureaucrats that are making decisions about our country, our sovereignty around the world. Nothing could be more important at this point in time than to get prepared, have water, food, digital access, flashlights, a, a, a way to communicate with family and friends. Now is really the time to get involved and get prepared because this is what's coming. Our Congress is sitting on its hands. There was a press conference on the 17th about this and no further action has been taken. So it's up to us to mobilize and to, to, and to go forward, uh, particularly with your local sheriffs, to get your constitutional sheriffs to say, this isn't going to be allowed in my county. Thank you very much. Take action. We've been talking about the onset of one world order, one world government, one world religion, one world money for a long time. Well, it's no longer coming. It's here. We're going to be deciding on November 5 what kind of a country we're going to be and it applies to this issue as well. President Trump had withdrawn the U.S. from the WHO, and of course the Biden administration, like every other disastrous decision they made, reversed those policies when uh, the Biden-Harris administration got in charge. Well, later this week, the U.N. is going to hold a, quote, summit for the future, and they're going to produce, this is right from their website, an intergovernmentally negotiated, action-oriented pact for the future with a chapter on transforming global governance. Ascending beyond the powers being sought by its subordinate agency, the WHO, the UN is seeking even broader and more powerful authority, as you will hear a lot about today. The Biden-Harris administration apparently intends to fully support the surrender and compliance of the US to the UN in these endeavors. They are aligned with, aligned with the international globalists that hate a mackle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, 
and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, threescore, and six.